Hi guys, today I'm going to create this lab from the game We Happy Few. Uh, this part, this table and all of these flag, flasks. So let's get started. I want to start from this base shape. So I'll just scale up my base cube to something like 3 on the y-axis, so press SY3 and now let's move it up to something like 2 yep, and uh, also I want to duplicate it and uh, Let's grab it down to SZ minus, um, I mean GZ minus 2. Okay, and let's scale it down on Y axis to something like 0 0.5 or 0 0.6. Yeah, that will be better. And now uh, I want to make this. Uh, part a little bit smaller so I'll just move this uh, upper plane down to minus one okay now it's it's good now this uh, blocking of this uh, base part I think looks good so I can add some bevels and let's start from this part I'll just select these four edges and bevel them but first of all, I want to apply this scale, so let's press Ctrl A and uh, select scale, and the same here, Ctrl A, scale, and now let's add bevel. I think uh, that two subdivisions will be enough for this part. And let's add a shade smooth. Now going, let's go to this object data properties and Activate this checkbox on After Smooth, uh, and let's change this angle to something like 45. Okay, now it's good. Also, I want to add the same bevels here, so let's select these four edges and do the same. So Control B and something like this will be enough for now, I think. And the next thing I want to do is to select this bottom vertices and scale them down. Let's take a look. Something like this. And also I want to grab down this upper vertices to something like minus uh, 0 0.5. Well, I think it's good enough. Let's leave it like this for now. And also I want to scale down this uh, bottom size. Let's do it on X axis. And just, uh, I don't want to break this uh, geometry. So I will just uh, grab this part and grab this part. So let's press GX minus 0.1 not minus, just 0.1, okay. And here, GX minus 0.1, so. Now I think it looks good, and also here will be uh, all of this uh, steam part, so. Before I will go to all of these details, I will I will just extrude this edge, I mean face, to something like this and let's add a let's add a curve, so let's add a circle curve, so let's go into the top view and move it around 
the one one will be here so something like 1 point g y 1.1 okay and the same here g y minus 1.1 okay and also i want to scale them on x-axis or how can i do it let's select this and this select this so i can grab it on x-axis to something like 0.2 and let's do the same here and let's deselect this part and move it on minus 0.2 on x-axis so here we go now i can move it up somewhere here and also i want to move I want to scale it on x-axis once more. Let's go into top view, something like this. Okay, I can make some changes uh, later. So let's add a let's add an ellipse here. Okay, and now I need to select this first part go into these settings and uh, object data properties and let's find geometry and and this geomet uh, this geometry so i can select this circle here Are not here let's make an extrusion here something like 0.1 and maybe I should rotate this I'm trying to remember how was it going oh that's it so I don't need to select this object I just need to go into bevel properties uh, object and then select this circle so that's it now I need to I can scale it up or scale it down let's take a look from the top view well i think it's pretty good i can move it up a little bit somewhere here and scale down this part on y-axis something like this or maybe even more so let's get it down a little bit and maybe let's scale it up this circle and move this part down on the axis something like this okay now uh i want to move this uh these two vertices somewhere like minus 0.5 and this to gy.5 okay now it looks better so what can I do now I need to apply this I mean let's convert it to mesh and here we have this good uh, this mesh with a good topology and i can remove this circle 
and let's go into edit mode and make some changes. So what can I do? What am I need to do first? Uh, let's add a bevel here. But first of all, I want to remove this part. Just let's select all of this and press X and let's remove this part as well. And now I can add a mirror modifier. Okay, and let's select this X and Y axis. So now let's try to make this geometry. I've just set it a loop cut here. And let's select these two loop cuts in, a, in edge mode. And let's add a bevel, but with only one uh, segment something like this and now i can press alt e extrude long extrude faces along normals and press s to turn on even thickness and let's leave it like this maybe also let's go into this object properties and add a shade smooth 30 degrees will be enough for now. Well, it looks good, so let's move on. Now I want to add this part. So I will select this loop cut or this one. No, I think this one will be better. So let's add a bevel here. Something like this and let's let's select these two loop cuts and add a bevel once more. I think to I think about making this bevel a little bit smaller. Just like this maybe and let's try to bevel it once more something like this and now let's press alt e extrude long faces i don't know why am i um, applying this even sickness on because because maybe i don't supposed to do this and nothing changes but i want to make this uh, bevels larger something like this and let's try to do it again something like this okay now it's good and now i need to add i'll add these details now let's select let's go into this view and let's take a look I can select uh, all of these uh, faces and go into select, uh, checker deselect and try to play with the settings. And let's play with this offset parameter. Maybe I'll set it to 5 and just play with offset. Now I think it looks good. So Now I need to remember these faces. Maybe I should... Okay, I'll just duplicate them and separate them of this base form. 
Now I can just select this one, Shift S, cursor to active, and let's just add a cylinder here, make it something like six vertices, change it radius to something like 0.1 or even less, <clears throat> 0 0.025, I think it will be good. And uh, let's change this depth to like something to 0.1 maybe or 0.25. And let's uh, rotate it on X axis to 90. Okay. And I can even move it uh, from the same mode. So I will move it on X axis or shit. Let's do it again. Let's add a cylinder and rotate it on X axis axis. And okay, I'll not move it in this mode. So I'll just grab it like this in the center. Well, and uh, What else? I'll add some loop cuts. Like this and let's bevel them. And let's scale them up on Y axis to something like this. And now I can extrude them to something like this. Or even more. And I can select this part and this part as well and press Ctrl plus. And now I can scale them down, press S, Shift Y, and scale it to something like this. And also I want to select this and this and a little bit scale it down on Y axis. Well, this will be enough. And I just want to duplicate this, this thing. Uh, into all of these vertices, faces. So let's select this one, press cursor to active. Okay, and let's duplicate it. Press set origin, origin to 3D cursor and geometry to origin. First of all, I need to I don't supposed to change origin of this object. So, okay. Shift D set origin origin to 3D cursor and then geometry to origin and now I can grab it here and Let's press, uh, let's move the origin to 3D cursor. So uh, I will not need to move it after copying. So let's select this face, Shift S cursor to active, duplicate this one, origin to 3D cursor and geometry to origin. Nothing changes. Now I just understand how it works. So, okay, let's do the same here. Cursor to active, Shift D, origin to 3D cursor and geometry to origin. I understand that there is a better uh, method to do this stuff, but I don't know how can I do it uh, faster 
so I will not to spend time to find a better uh, way where was it oh, that's it and let's select this shift S I think this will be enough. Now I will uh, do this thing. So I'll just select all of them and to join them to with this base shape. So it will just mirroring in the in all of these ways. So uh, the next thing I want to do is let's select this part let's go into right view and select these faces this is the central face and four faces down and four faces to the up I think it will be enough and but I'll add a loop cut here and make it a little bit larger something like this four four nine that's it now I will just extrude them all something like this then insert press I twice or Okay, well, let's do it like this and just move it a little bit here. But first of all, let's add clipping here. And now I can move it here and move it here. So there will not, there won't be extra vertices. Now I'll just select all of these vertices and press M merge by distance and maybe make this merge distance a little bit smaller so our extra vertices now are removed now I can select these faces and do something with them first of all I want to extrude them once more something like this and I want to select these faces and insert this part to something like this and let's do the same move it here and then move it here let's select all of this press M merge by distance and now we ain't got extra vertices now let's select all of this and extrude it inside but I don't need these vertices I can remove them something like this okay now uh, Now I want to add bevel here and here and inside 
let's try let's try to do it maybe always two extra vertices something wrong let's uh, select this edges two now it's better but something like this maybe now let's merge uh, extra vertices now it's good and also also I want to add this bolts Let's select this face and this face. No, just it. And let's uh, move three cursor to active and add cylinder. Rotate it on Y axis to 90 and scale it down on X. Let's move it somewhere here. And also let's add a bevel on this face. Just a simple bevel. Okay. And I'll just duplicate the same on the bottom side. I'll turn on a No, I don't need to turn on anything, so let's grab it down somewhere here and let's move it on x axis. That's it. Also, what am I supposed to do here is to uh, select this edge, edges, loop cat, the select this, and I can add a bevel here, just like this, move it a little bit on Y axis, and let's extrude it. Alt E extrude the long normals and something like this or even more. I can see something is wrong with this geometry, so I can remove this vertex. Let's look through. I think something I think everything is fine. So I can add these faces and this face as well. Okay, let's remove it and just press F, F and here as well. Well, I think it's good. Also, I want to select this loop cut. To select this part of line, you just need to select this one, press uh, control shift and select this one now I can move it here and let's do the same here move it here well now I can select both of them and let's deselect these edges Add a boundary here, control B, and let's extrude it along normals. Something like this, and let's fix this geometry. I'll remove this vertex and this vertex, and also this one and this one. 
And let's do the same here. This vertex, this one, and this one. Now I can fill this triangle, so just let's just press F. And this triangle, this one, and this one. So let's do the same here. I removed a wrong vertex here, so I need to fill it once more. Let's create triangle here or not. I need to clean up this part as well. So let's remove this one and this one and this one. And the same here. I'm just trying to clean up our geometry after uh, our And now I can remove this vertex and do it again. Let's press F. And let's press F from this part. Now try to create triangle here and triangle here. And this geometry is pretty bad. I don't want to see all of these triangles, so I, I'll do it again. So let's add here two loop cats and here as well and here too. And let's do it again. Select this two vertex, press F, F again. And the same from this side. Now it's now it's wrong too, but a little bit better. Okay, I don't mind about uh, all of this wrong stuff in geometry here because it's high poly and if you will use it in in game or etc you will need to create low poly model of, of this stuff and in any way you will need to make a topology here so let's leave it like this with all of these triangles and wrong rectangles. So, okay, we've done with this part and the last thing I will add is this, this, the same part, just like this, I'll add somewhere here. So I'll select this loop cat Control B or just let's add another one here. And I'll bevel this one a little bit, move it here and let's just press Alt E, extrude long normals. And I think it's, it's too big. Let's do it again. Well, now it not, it's pretty nice. So let's add some details here. I'll just add a loop cat. A loop cat here and the loop cat there. And let's just select these two vertices and press J. And then the same here to join 
these two parts. Now I can add a loop cat on the bottom size side and I want to extrude it a little bit but first of all but first of all I will select this four vertices and add a bevel here add loop cat something like this and and also I want to move it grab it up a little bit something like this well now it's better and now I can uh, I need to join these two objects let's press G and let's connect their geometry as well so let's hear a loop cat and the same here and I just pressed slash to to go into this uh, mode let's connect this to and now I can do the same bevel them with this four and do something like this and now I can select the whole object and press M to merge these vertices and scale down this distance a little bit more now it's too much let's try it again something like zero 0.04 maybe now it's good I can remove uh, these faces maybe and I need to remove this face and this too as well and now I can Add look at here and there and this too. By the way, I will just remove. Uh, I'll remove this part and add a look cat here and there and remove this part as well. And let's just add a mirror modifier. And also I need to remove these vertices as well. Let's turn on this clipping and now I can fix this geometry. Let's try this way. Uh, I think I need one extra loop cut here and let's do it again. And this loop cat should be here. And these two vertices are must be just one vertex. And let's uh, split, uh, let's merge them on by distance. Just if we uh, missed something. I don't like this triangle. Uh, so what can I do? Let's remove this face and add here loop cat and connect them into rectangle. Maybe I should move this three and this one. In any, in any way, that's not, it's not good. Let's 
Let's triangulate this. Or remove this one. Maybe I should just remove them. Let's take a look at this. Well, now it's good. Let's recalculate normals outside. And also, let's go into these parameters and move it to 45 maybe or 55. Let's pressure it smooth again and maybe decrease it to 45 or 50 okay now it's good I've spent too much time on this object actually uh, now let's create this inside parts let's ex extrude it on y-axis somewhere here let's activate this clipping parameter and now I can add some loop cats here and let's fill it. Okay, well. Now maybe I should extrude this outside like this, but I should extrude it uh, with this part as well and with this part. So let's extrude it again, something like this, okay, and I don't need to select this part, so let's do it again. Okay, well, let's leave it like this and also I want to select this part, add a bevel here, hole of this part, or don't a bevel, I will just add <clears throat> a loop cut here and let's select this loop and I mean this loop and let's extrude it along faces a little bit inside well something like this but I'll select all of this and press M to merge this extra vertices. But let's change this merge distance to something like 0 0.01. Well, let's do it again from the beginning. I think there are some extra vertices here. Now it's good. So let's try to select this loop once again and extrude it along normals inside. Just like this or Let's activate even thickness, something like this, I guess. And also, now I need to remove some of edges. 
and inside vertices just like this and this vertex as well well now it looks good let's merge them and nothing removed so it was good and now let's press slash on keyboard and go back to our base mesh I think it looks good now and uh, we can add all of this uh, flasks and all of this stuff I will add a cylinder let's make it larger and this shape will be great well six vertices are best let's scale it down on the axis something like this and move it somewhere here now I can select these faces and extrude them along normals like this now let's select only top edges and move them down let's move the whole object up and move them down once more also I need to select all of these faces maybe I'll try to scale them down but scaling in this uh, way are not is not so good so let's just try to extrude them and scale them up individually so let's select them and change pivot point to individual individual origins scale them up and maybe extrude them once more something like this and scale it down well that's good also I want to select this base form this base mesh and move it up a little bit and select these vertices and move them down something like this well now I need to select this face insert it extrude it insert it once more and now I can extrude it to something like this or even more like this now let's add a loop cut here let's bevel it extrude it along normals something like this now I can select these edges duplicate them separate and rotate them on x-axis to 90 move them here and I should I should do it with uh, faces but now I can just fill them select this one and this one and this just press F to fill them it was it will be much easier if I would uh, 
duplicate the whole faces, not only edges, but now let's change the pilot point to bounding box entry and scale it down. Shift Y, something like this. And I need to fill this part and grab it on Y axis a little bit, something like this. Okay, and let's duplicate this object, move it on Y axis somewhere here, or even more like this. Let's rotate it to add some variations. And now I can select this edges and just move them here. I don't select it, this, ed, uh, this vertices, so let's select all of them, press SY0 and move them again. Now it's good. Now I need to just to add two bevels here, S, Z, control B once more, but, but I need to select just uh, these edges and let's do it again, control B, something like this and let's, do, let's extrude the long normals just like this and let's add a cylinder move it here S Z and S shift Z let's move it here okay Now I just added a uh, subdivision, level 1 or level 2, okay. And now I will just select these two uh, faces and bevel them a little bit, something like, something like this. Let's add here to with cats let's make it larger move it here and let's add a few more look cats one here and one here select them and bevel and then Alt E extrude long normals, something like this. Let's do it again. And now I need to select just this loop cats and press Ctrl B to add a bevel. And I need to select these loop cats as well and add a bevel here too. Now I will, uh, I will select these two loop cats, press Ctrl plus and Ctrl plus again and again and now I can scale them up on the axis uh, individually Something like this. Okay, now I want to separate this part from the other, uh, and I will. Let's go on to this in uh, this local mode, and let's just connect them. OK, 
okay and let's go here and let's do the same for this part first of all i need to delete this and and let's try to just connect it let's take a look it looks good and let's do the same for this one now I can add a smooth shading well it looks good also I will add maybe I should make it bigger or no I'll just leave it like this also I'll add this part this flask so let's add a loop cat here and control B I'll the extra the long normals and something like this shift A and let's add a okay it will be a cylinder and let's increase this vertices to 12 maybe move it somewhere here okay let's select this button uh, loop cat make it smaller move it down let's extrude it and scale it down something like this and let's add one more extrusion here and let's make it smaller and add some division subdivision level one yes and let's add a bevel here and here and here now it looks good and I will select this face and extrude it down a little bit just like this and also I need to select these two edges faces extrude them along y-axis then scale them along x-axis using bounding box bounding box as a pivot point and let's move this somewhere here let's scale them along x once more and i want to press s y zero well something like this maybe i should add a bevel here and to slice slide these vertices like this maybe i should select this to edges and scale them up and select these two faces and scale them down on X axis
something like this is good. And now I want to add just one more uh, sphere. Let's change the segments or let's leave it like it was 32. Let's move it here. And first of all, I need to remove this vertex and this <clears throat> bottom loop cat. And let's do the same from the top. Let's select this vertex and press Ctrl plus twice and remove it. Now, maybe I should scale it down and move it up. And I need to grab it down like this. And let's press G twice to slide them like this. Now I can select this uh, top loop cat and extrude it like this. Let's press Ctrl plus and scale it down as Shift Z. And I want to scale down the whole shape a little bit and then move it down again. Uh, something like this. Let's enable this shade smooth and add a few loop cuts. And let's change, let's enable this after smooth to something like 45. Okay. Also, maybe I should just remove this and scale it and remove this as well and grab it up a little bit like this. Maybe scale this down as well. Now it looks better. And now I need to add a this uh, this green stuff. So maybe I should yes, definitely. I need to remove this face and this edges as well. I mean vertices and extrude it like this yep extrude it once more and scale it up and extrude it again like this and maybe i should add a loop cut here just like this well Maybe I should let's select both of two objects, these two objects and move it a little bit here. Well, now it looks good. Now I can add a curve Bezier. Let's move it somewhere here and let's go into the edit mode. Go into right view and rotate it on Y axis to 90. And let's do the same with this one. R, 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 Y, 90. Well, let's remove it for now and then I'll just extrude this one. Let's rotate it here and scale it down. Extrude it here and let's go into this view, move it here, and now I should just rotate it on y axis like this and move it up. Now I can extrude it here. Or say it in some way. Maybe.
be scaled down and this one as well something like this well it's pretty uh, difficult to manipulate this uh, stuff but if you ever used a photoshop or illustrator uh, you should know how busy curve actually works but in 3D space, it's a little bit difficult, even for me. Like this. And let's grab it here. Extrude it. Move it down. Rotate it like this. Extrude it here. Scale it up and maybe scale up this one too. And this one as well. It's not a very cool uh, manipulation with curve, curves, but I think it will be enough to make our composition uh, better looking. Well, let's try with this one. I think it will be enough. And let's go on this bevel option and leave it, uh, leave it with this round option and just add depth. Also, I want to add some smooth or no. I wanna. I want to add some subdivision modifier. Now it looks better. And what what do we have? It looks pretty good. I can make it even uh, wider. Let's change the depth to zero point fifty and let's grab it up a little bit I think it looks good and now my dear friends you can add uh, all of this different stuff here but uh, I will just duplicate this one, move it somewhere here, grab it down and scale it down and just leave it like this. And maybe shift D this one, rotate it on X to 90 minus scale it down and move it somewhere here just like that well now now I can go to to shading Let's add a, our reference here. So image editor, open and select our picture. That's it. Let's go into render view and change render engine to cycles. I will change my device to GPU and add some denoising optics and optics here as well now first of all i will add just a plane grab it down let's move to center 
and scale it up like five times and move it here extrude it and add a bevel here five times or even more like this let's shade smooth add a shade smooth now i need to add a camera let's press ctrl alt zero to move it into our view and let's change resolution to something like like this okay i think this view will be good so let's select this loop cat and move it here let's add a light area lights move it up jz uh, 4 let's move our 3d cursor to world origin and let's add our light again jz 5 and let's change our pilot point to 3d cursor and now i can rotate it on y axis to 45 to 45 okay and let's move it up a little bit once more set something like 100 well and i think it will be good let's change our color to something warmer like this because uh, all other lights, all our all other lights will be cold green. So I think this one should be warm. Warm, and let's turn off our world light, or maybe make it darker and blue. let's set it to 0.25 okay well and now let's create our first material let's let's leave this shape uh, on something like something like this let's decrease our roughness and do uh, and i'll just duplicate it and let's change our pivot point to bounding box center uh, let's duplicate it and leave it inside and for this inside one I can add our emission shader let's try it like this Well, it don't look good anyway. Maybe I should add a light inside. Now we can just play around with shaders or different ways, types of creating this light. Let's decrease this radius to maybe zero. and play with our power let's turn it off for now and i want to <clears throat> i want to select this part and press shift d separate it from <clears throat> our <clears throat> base mesh 
and now scale it down just like this and let's uh, let's add a principal bsdf shader and connect it with this one inside change this color like this and maybe add some emission Let's decrease alpha of this one or add some transmission. Let's try with emission shader once more. Change its color. and decrease trends or I can even try with volume principled volume inside of this bottle add some emission on it Or uh, maybe I'll get the same if I'll add just an emission shader inside. No. With volume it looks better. Maybe I should scale it down once more. Or not. Let's leave it like this and Let's apply our glass shader here, glass, I mean, and let's select this vertices, shift D, press P, selection, and scale it, scale this one down, and move, in, move it here, and select our emission shader, that's it. And this, do the same with this one. Let's select our glass shader, uh, Shift D, and I will remove this vertices and scale it down a little bit. And this uh, vertices as well. Scale it down and uh, select our emission shader. Maybe I'll scale up, move up these vertices like this. Well, it looks pretty good. I can apply our glass shader for this too and maybe change its color. Maybe I should make it white. or a little bit blue let's set the saturation on point 0 0.05 like this okay well uh, <clears throat> now I need to apply our 
material on this one. How it looks. I, sh I think I should add an emission shader here. Like this and make it make it something like this. And let's increase this strength to something like 10 or 5 or 3. Well, it looks good. Let's create a new uh, material for this part. Let's make it a little bit dark and warm. Warm. Something like this. And let's add one more material. New and let's make it darker. And I want to apply. Uh, I want to apply this part and this part and this. Let's deselect this one and this one and let's press Ctrl plus and again deselect parts that we don't need. And now I can press assign and let's take a look. It's good. Maybe I should make it darker and increase metallic metallic parameter of this one. Maybe make it a little bit brown, brown and decrease roughness a little bit. Maybe I should increase this light to something like 200. And let's go into the settings. Let's make look this uh, very high contrast and maybe increase our emission. And now I can change this light to something like 100. And also I want to change this color to something warmer like this let's play with this hue value let's make it 0.35 or 0 0.32 0 0.3 or 0.37 35 okay let's leave it like this and let's change this color make it Thirty-five and okay, and I want to add uh, material for this one. Let's just select our last material and let's play with it. Maybe decrease roughness, make it not so dark and decrease some saturation something like this and now let's uh, go into the edit mode press plus here to add new material and let's 
assign it uh, for this part. Uh, there's something wrong with it. Let's select it. Uh, in hand mode. So that's it. And let's assign it uh, with our shine material. That's it. Something like this. If we go into EV mode and enable all of these parameters, it became uh, looking better, but this uh, volume part is look wrong. So let's go back to cycles and let's see what can we change here. Maybe decrease uh, this specular or or not. Well, let's create a material for our scene to something. To something blue gray. Like this. And maybe I can add some light. Now it's here. Make it uh, something like this. Well, and I can duplicate it and move it here. Like this. And move it here as well. I think I should increase it, this strange strength, uh, maybe 10. For it looks uh, more cold, uh, but shiny. Also, I need to add some materials on this one. Maybe it will be our dark material like this and here as well now I think it looks good let's render it with maybe uh, 1000 1, samples and make some compositing on it for a final render I should make uh, more samples but for this one just to add some composing notes I will use this 1044
in 24, I mean. This optics uh, denoise works good, but uh, I should increase the samples for it looks better. Because now there are some artifacts all around because of our emission and just 1000 samples. Let's save it. Okay. And now I can go to composing at our <coughs> render layer and let's output as viewer that's it and now I can add some glare here distortion uh, no filter yes let's add a glare first of all uh, fog glow Let's change this to high and add some minus 0.9 mix or minus 0.5. Let's try this minus 0.75 and I want to make it smaller and move it here. To move it, you need to select this viewer node and then make your operations with it. Let's duplicate this shader and change it to ghosts. Change iteration to 5, color modulation to 1, and mix to minus 0.95 maybe. I don't need this shader, so let's add let's add some lens distortion, okay. Uh, let's connect them and add some dispersion to point one maybe and add jitter. Let's change it to point twenty five and distortion to minus 0.25 or minus 0.1 like this maybe I should uh, change uh, maybe I should pose this node here and do something like this now I can change our uh, fog glow to um, something like minus 0.8 or minus 0.9. Let's change it to minus to 0.2 and this to 0.05. Maybe I should add some filter, uh, something like something like hue saturation value and change hue point five point fifty one or point. Five zero five and decrease some saturation to point one point nine or point
Now let's leave it like this and what else can I do with all of this stuff? Let's take a look at compositing. It looks like that. So maybe I should decrease this light to something like 50 and make it even warmer, increase the saturation, something like this. Let's duplicate this one here. And one on the back side, somewhere here. Let's increase it to 100, maybe, or 500. And let's try to change color. Maybe something red. And let's increase the saturation here to something like 0.35. And maybe I should change the color of this base. Let's save it to oh. and maybe I should make it a little bit cold, colder. Oh. And maybe increase the strength to 25. Okay, fine. Let's uh, try to make this render and I'll change the sampling to uh, 8000. And you'll see the result. So thank you for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and press like button. So goodbye.